I had a barbecue yesterday, <laughs> and so the conversation that we had was quite um, germane to our first story. Ah. We're talking about Gerard Carmichael. Ah. Y'all know his uh, reality show aired on Friday on Max. You are really known. invested into this man's life. Do you have a crush on him, Craig? I don't. Is he not an attractive black he's man? He's not my cup of tea. Is it because he's not? A, is he? A, is he an attractive black man? No, I think he's a nice looking guy. He's just not my cup of tea. Hmm. <laughs> well, the reason why I asked you that because oh. I know you're about to delve into this. I am deeply delved. I have my notes, and here so too. I had to start at the top because I know I've, you've shared some of your notes with me. Uh huh. I had to start from the top. That's what because I wanted to point out some things at the top so that we'll be. Uh -huh. we'll be so he's he is an attractive black man. I think he's an attractive guy. Yeah. All right. So go ahead. Go go ahead. So uh, <laughs> I will say it was it was a really great. So they call it a reality show. So like you see the camera set up, you see the lighting and all that kind of stuff. Have they broken the fourth wall though? Does he talk to the, the audience? He has. So it's like a docu series. Yes. Okay. And so when it opens up, um, you see clips of his. Remember his special where he came out that wrote wrote what was it? Wrote Nathan or something? That was called. I, I, Anyway, they had, you didn't see it. No. <laughs> you, you didn't see it. No. <laughs> I thought you saw it. What is it? Ro Nathan. Is it his show? Yeah, it was. It was like when he came out. It was like no. I only saw snippets of it on Gay Magazine. Oh, but I didn't watch it. So when it opens up, it shows you clips from that, and the particular clip that they show is when he's saying that he had a crush on his best friend. Then they cut to this current reality show where he he tells us who that crush is, and it's Tyler. The creator. Not Perry, the creator. <laughs> <laughs> right. The, I, I just, communication is our partner. Clarity is our friend. This time we're talking about the creator. Tyler's a creator, too. Well, I meant the one who staged the name. <laughs> oh, it's Tyler, the creator. You don't make me tip through them tulips now. I'm tapping you on your shoulder, <laughs> Uncle Girl, Girl I'm, I'm, listen. There's an electrical fence there. I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to go over that fence, girl. I'm keeping you away. Okay. <laughs> let me let me move on past it now. I'm keeping you away. Okay. Let me guide you. Right. <laughs> Thank you. So he talks about how he has this crush on Tyler, the creator. They were like really close friends. This, that, and the third. Well, he sends him a text message. Gerard sends Tyler a text message and says, "I have this crush on you." Da 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 da. Tyler never responds. Fast forward a year later, this man still ain't responded. Oh, so they finally have a sit down conversation where Gerard is basically telling him, listen, you didn't even respond. Like what happened? You kind of pulled back. Even in the friendship, like you weren't really responsive in our text messages. Da, 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 da. So Gerard sends him a text. This is before they sit down because this first episode is called Emmys because he's going to the Emmys. Uh this one that I was at? Yeah. And so, wait, wait. What was it before? It may have been before. I don't know. Because yeah, I didn't see him. Yeah, this may have been before. So, long story short, he sent Tyler a text asking if he would join him for the Emmys. Well, Tyler took days, maybe even a week or so, to even respond and say, oh, man, I'm busy. I can't make it. That's lit, though. So then you see the scene where they're sitting down in his hotel room. In, in, in Gerard's hotel room or apartment or whatever this is. And they're talking and he basically says to him, you just kind of left me there. You didn't say anything. And he said, well, I didn't really know what to say to that. So they had this whole conversation and that piece really reminded me of what really does kind of happen out here in the dating world where men are sometimes very unresponsive don't really know what to do with emotion because they don't have that EQ, that emotional quotient. You know how there's IQ, but there's also EQ, intelligent, mm -hmm. uh, emotional quotient. Mm -hmm. And they don't always have the words. And so he said, I didn't really know what to say, but he just kind of left him there and he just kind of made jokes about it. He talked about how he, how he needed to fart. So he steps out and goes and farts. Who and did this? Tyler. See, now you're going to make me watch it. I'm t I, I really wanted to get you to watch it, but I didn't watch it until this morning before I came here. Mm -hmm. So it, he was so, he, he, it caught him off guard, but he was just really off-putting. Tyler was very off-putting. And so what I'm saying is, it really made me think about just kind of how we move. And what's really interesting is, here you have these two black gay guys who are 
uber successful, and neither one of them typically date black men. Um, there are so many questions in the comment section mm -hmm. trying to clarify Tyler, the creator's sexual orientation. Well, he said he was gay, right? I don't know. Well, well, I, you know, I thought he dated uh, this guy's son. Uh, uh, Diddy? Uh, is it, no, Diddy sorry, son. Sorry, Diddy no, son. No, not, sorry, not Diddy son. I'm sorry. Uh, Will Smith. Oh, right, right. No, he white adjacent. White neighborhood. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Mo. White neighborhood. Wrong person. Right. <laughs> I meant right neighborhood. Wrong person. Correct. <laughs> okay, they're saying Tyler is bisexual. <laughs> but yeah, Tyler looks like he might be on the spectrum. I'm with you. But Jaden is. Jaden Smith. Jaden Smith, yeah. Does, does, does he say that he's bisexual too? I think he's gay, isn't he? What? I mean, okay. I heard that they were dating. No, for I need I to heard. put something here. I heard because I don't know. Yeah, what's allegedly, going on. allegedly they 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 dated. They were doing something, but what I will say about this whole reality show, it is a real time, open, account of what kind of happens with gay men in terms of like he was on Grinder, like you saw his Grinder profile. I'm talking about Gerard. Oh, not Tyler's grand. Gerard. Tyler talked about uh, a sex party that he hosted. Okay. Like, they're talking about the thing. Okay, I have to watch this now. <laughs> because when, cause, cause Tyler didn't know that Gerard was filming this stuff. When he came to talk to him about how Gerard sent him a text the year before saying he was interested and da-da-da, he didn't know that it was a whole production when he got to the place. He said, oh, there's more people in here than the sex party that I hosted. But Tyler is kind of weird and funny. I think he's on the spectrum. But do we know this for a fact? No, I just said I think. But thinking and knowing is I'm looking at his eyes and his mouth and the way he holds his even, mouth. Even even if thinking and knowing, even sucking dick, does that do we know it is a fact? Because you can suck dick and not be on the spectrum, right? What spectrum are you talking about? The the whole the, the six wild. No, oh. no, I'm talking about this spectrum. Oh. Up here. So but you can you have an experience, Craig? And still not be up there. I think you can have an experience and not. Can be... you have several experiences and not? Now be... wait a minute. Now <laughs> you're getting into several. I don't know about that. When I was talking about spectrum, I'm thinking he. I'm saying he's kind of like uh, autistic or. Oh, you mean ninety forty? Correct. Oh, he's giving that. Oh, you mean the ninety forty? Yeah, like he ain't. She can't, you know. It, Not mac and cheese. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, he on the spectrum. And um, so something's so going Craig, on with him. See, you got to, okay, I was so confused. Yeah, yeah. So you mean spectrum as far as. You a dummy, bitch. Yeah! No, Craig. No, I'm just Don't do that. Oh, my God. But you are. But don't do that. <laughs> What'd you say? I didn't. This is what I said. I, I, th I, th I thought I thought you said. This is what I said. Oh. Okay. But here's the thing. So here's where I get get really analytical about it. Gerard was on Grinder and he's looking on there and he's talking. And he's like, here he is, this uber successful guy, and he's looking for hookups on a mobile app. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but I just want us to kind of step back and look at that, um, like the grand scheme of that. And I think some of that is tied to his disconnection with his mother, because she's uber religious. One of the things that he talked about was how um, he wanted to invite his mother to go with him to the Emmys. And he said she would gladly come, put on a gown, put on makeup, this, that, and the third. But yet he was going, going to be honored for this gay, work he had done that comedy special so how do you juxt how does she juxtapose that how do you juxtapose that greg mm -hmm. there are so many people in this comment section that mm -hmm. are stating that the man is not homosexual who is not there's only one homosexual we're talking about and that's gerard gerard is homosexual but tyler is bi okay are, do we know this yes he came out years ago we are been I didn't know if he was bi or gay, but I knew he was definitely. Hey. 
there are people down there saying that Tyler is not bisexual. They saying Tyler is bisexual. Tyler's been out. Yes. Yeah, Sean, you had to. Yes, he did. I don't know where you've been. Thank you. Tyler came out years ago. And he was on, well, if he didn't, he came out on this special because he sure was talking about, um, listen, watch the special. Oh, not the special. It's a reality show. Yeah, he came out years ago. So, but, so I was thinking about that, like the juxtaposition of his mother trying to celebrate his success. I'm talking about Gerard. But yet still feeling like, you know, he needs to be saved. And he, she's, he said that she's always talking about Leviticus this and Leviticus that. And so here he is, this uber successful person. But even when he was sitting there talking to Tyler about his feelings and how Tyler ghosted him, basically, it's like he's searching for validation. Like he looked like a little boy trying to explain his feelings. And Tyler looked like someone who doesn't have the emotional intelligence to even have that kind of a conversation, right? And so Gerard is bringing all of these strangers, none of them who were, who were black, he's, he's bringing these strangers that he's meeting on Grindr to his apartment or hotel, wherever this was. Mm -hmm. He's sucking on their toes. Can we get that screen grab? Oh, yeah, yeah, I have that. Oh right my here. God. He's sucking on toes. Wait. And he, but these people are coming in and this whole camera crew was there. Okay. They're coming to his place for a hookup, and the entire camera crew is there. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, see, this is where I was blown away. This is where it's blowing me away. He was on Grinder, bitch. Feel me in, ho, in Layman's <laughs> turn. He was on Grinder, having Grinder link ups while they were filming while the show. Filmed, that's what I said. It was so real time. I've never seen anything like this. I mean, so he, this was a real reality show then. And like, I'm sure they still edit and cut things out. He on there taking mushrooms. Well, it is HBO, so he could get he it's not on national TV, so there's a lot of leeway you can have. HBO bigger than national TV. But it ain't, <laughs> but that boy that's on that picture, that's not the only one. Then I send another, there's another screenshot of him and Tyler just talking. But there was another guy, like he had a couple guys. There was another guy that he fucked. He talked about th there was some cream on his counter. He's all. That's the cream I use when I fuck the boys um, without a condom. Whoa. Wait, put the picture up there. Wait. You want to see the picture again? It, what? This? It was it another picture you had, Greg? Oh, it was just the, right above that. Which was this? The middle one. This one. Mm-hmm. That's. He Tyler. leaned his head. He's talking to Tyler. This is when he's professing his feelings. And he leans his head on his shoulder and look at Tyler all on his phone. Like he's he's just so detached. Maybe because he's not gay. His, he... <laughs> Could it be because he's not gay? He's into white boys. Oh, this is where you were going. That's where I was going. Okay, come on. Tyler's into white boys. And so I was just like, oh my God. So like Gerard is waking up the next morning with hookups and stuff. And like, who are these people that are coming to this hotel room or apartment, wherever they are? And you got a whole camera crew. And it's a hook up. But these people didn't even seem to know who Gerard was. He telling them, oh, I'm going to the Emmys tomorrow. Like, like he looks, he looks so desperate for attention. to be liked and attention. But I think that's that's that longing that comes because he's still now detached from his family. And I think that that's what happens with a lot of queer people. They come into the community looking for acceptance and love when you come from a family that discards you. Ah. And I think what happens also, I don't know how Tyler was raised, but Gerard is from South Carolina. It's very segregated in South Carolina. Bible Belt. So he's black, okay? He, he grew up black. But just based on what we know about him now, with his mom talking to him about the Bible and this, that, and the third, he doesn't really talk to his mom very much now because he's gay. What I have learned, and I talked about this a couple weeks ago, a few shows ago, when we talked about how some black queer people date exclusively outside of the black community because the black community hurt them. Mm. <clears throat> I'm the first to tell you that I, I, I learned and, and came to the realization, not from watching this, but from uh, the episode of Don Lemon on Red Table Talk, 
that sometimes send me that clip so I can play it. Oh, okay. Sometimes oh, it's in the one with me, you, and mom. It's in this one. Oh, oh shit! You deleted it. No, this you know it's on this phone. Oh, oh, oh. And this phone is hooked up to this. And so uh, it's this tube. one. Uh, airdrop it to me. Cause we about to let y'all hear. Uh huh. And so let me just let me just color the picture for you before it plays. Before it plays. And so what I've learned is it's not always about. Uh, Sorry, that was. It's not always about having internal uh, issues with your own culture. Sometimes, but I also think that there is also a crop of black queer people who date outside of their race because they were called sissy fag and punk or whatever by black people. They were hurt by the black church, the black family, the black community, mm -hmm. and so they 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 take flight. They they leave the black community because it was too painful to stay. And so they, they, they look for solace, love, relationships with other people. Which 